Hi, this is Kathy, and you have reached me at my sewing practice. Today I'm going to talk about plans I have for making a fall ensemble. You see, I found myself in a strange situation in that I was starting to have more elevated events to go to, but I didn't really have polished and elevated clothing. And even tomorrow, I have been invited to go to a lunch at a very nice hotel, and I really don't have exactly what I would like to wear. Now, as a plan B, I think I'm gonna wear this top, and I'll stand up and show it to you, but before I do, let me show you what it is. It is this pattern here. So it's Simplicity 9385, and I seem to have made version A. Now, I believe I must have decided to make a faced collar versus a banded collar, because on here it looks like it is a banded collar. And I also have a note that I brought in the shoulder a half inch, and I increased the bottom band about a quarter of an inch um, for each piece. Now, um, I seem to have made this in February of 22 because I've got it on the date. <laughs> but as far as going forward, I'd like to create another outfit. Now, some of you have heard of top down, center out. That's your quiz. What is top down, center out? Well, it is a new method of um, creating, assembling, drafting pants. And as you can see by my muttering of those three descriptors, I am not an expert. <laughs> but I am watching a YouTube channel called The Crooked Ham that has it. I know that Jay Stern has some information on it. I know that Threads Magazine has some information on it. And then also I am going to be going to a Sewing Guild meeting sometime this month. And we are going to also focus on it. So that is going to be my construction. However, let me tell you what pattern I'm going to use. So of course my objective is to make a nice pair of trousers. And when I saw the closet case um, pants that they have out right now called the Mitchell trousers, I was so enamored and I just love the creative style lines. However, then when I took a realistic look at what my goals were and what my body looks like, I was um, pleased to see that Cashmerette has come out with a new pattern called the Metro Trousers. That it is beyond wise for me to choose the Cashmerette Metro Trousers. Now, they released these about a week ago. And one of the profound things about this pattern is it has an expanding waist. They are very classic trousers. And then the waist has a, a bit of elastic that slides in and out. Um, it, maybe you've seen those on men's trousers, but it's a feature that Jennifer has brought to Cashmerette in the Metro trousers. Now, because this is going to be a polished outfit, I really have endeavored to buy high quality fabrics. So, I have it right in front of me here. The fabric I chose is a suiting gabardine. It is in midnight. And if you don't know what a gabardine is, gabardine is a tight twill. So the weft is actually a little bit behind the fabric, if you will, because the twill is so tight that it is the prominent fiber. And speaking of fibers, this particular fiber content is polyester rayon and spandex. And it doesn't really have um, any gifts, so I don't know why there's spandex in it. Makes me wonder if I read that wrong. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I got this from StyleMaker. Like I said, it's a very nice quality. I got over two yards just to be safe, and I spent $40 on it. Now, because that is such a nice fabric, I will, and it's going to be a complex make for me because I'm going to try that new technique, I will be buying some kind of inexpensive, either gabardine or just muslin or something, and doing a practice. So all these uh, four patterns that I'm going to tell you about, it's a four-piece ensemble. 
they are all new patterns to me. So all of it's going to be a little bit uh, involved, a little bit slow. But moving up in my ensemble, because I started at the top and we're going up, next I want to make a blouse. And again, I've never made this pattern, but I have had it for a while. And it is the McCall's 7436. And I actually like all of the I like all of the views, but I will say that I'm probably leaning towards view A. I love statement sleeves, as you can tell, <laughs> and it has a statement sleeve. The question is, will I use the big bow? I'm not sure yet, but I will tell you I am going to twirl that one also, and I have an inexpensive white rayon that I bought off of Amazon. But for the final garment, I will be using this lovely rayon twill that's a blouse weight. And I got that at StyleMaker. Let me look what it's called. But I will link, of course, all this below. Um, this is called StyleMaker Statement Tropical Leaves in rayon. And of course, I'll need a uh, buttons because it's a blouse. And what I um, am planning on doing is using gold buttons. Now, of course, it will be a little bit depends on when I get to it. But I have almost exclusively gone to gold jewelry, except for this piece, which is a little bit like black and gold. But um, I feel very comfortable putting gold buttons on my greenish outfit because I'm certain I'll wear gold jewelry with it. And now we are going to come to the outerwear. Well, part of this ensemble was inspired by this beautiful green wool I have. And it's just um, a suiting weight. And I've had this in my collection for uh, like three years. And I've been wanting to use it. Now, I have that situation where wool really, really is itchy for me. And so I had a hard time finding the right thing I've wanted to do with it. I've even considered just making a bag out of it because the itch kind of scares me. And I don't have enough yardage to make like a coat, but I have enough yardage to make a vest. So I am going to make the Miller vest. This is a Merchant and Mills uh, vest pattern, and it is a softly structured waistcoat with a boxy fit. Two welt pockets and a simple stretched belt at the back. You can wear it on its own or you can layer it up. And I have enough fabric of that green beautiful wool that I can do the front and the back of the vest, um, but I am going to line it with this gabardine that I bought off of Amazon. So that will be the lining. Now, like the other ones, I'm going to do a trial first. And so I have to pause it because I didn't bring it over, but I have started the trial on my Miller vest. So I have enjoyed the construction of this vest so thus far, and I use this vintage polyester blend. It has a little bit of a slub in it. And I'm just using it for the entire, every piece in it is the same fabric. And I was um, had this, you know, I got it from like a thrift store. It's just, it looks like 1950s wallpaper, but <laughs> I find it a little attractive. Anyway, on with it. So this is the inside, and as you can see, there's some seaming, and then the welt pocket. And ah, the welt pockets are confusing to me, but anyway, I think I've got it in, and I definitely want, I almost wanted to skip it on the toile, but that's like one of the hardest things, so why would I skip it and then have this beautiful piece of wool that I was practicing on. So that didn't make sense. So yeah, I have put the wall well pocket in. Um, however, so the last piece of my four piece ensemble is going to be a blazer. Now, I don't think that I will wear the blazer with that vest. I think it will be an either or situation, but I won't know until I make the blazer. But I would like to make it a Ponte blazer. I'm just such a casual person and Ponte is just so comfortable and I think it's a beautiful fabric. There are two patterns that I already own that are made specifically for Ponte um, blazers. And the first one is the Love Notions Metra. And I do own both of these. And the second one is the Uva by Sinclair. 
The main difference is that the Metra has lapels and the Uva does not. It just has a, um, ooh, I'm forgetting the name of that, the kind of collar that goes up like that. I just forgot the name of that kind of collar. But anyway, it doesn't have a rolled collar at all. It has that word I'm forgetting, shaw collar. There you go. It has a shaw collar. So anyway, I have not decided on which pattern nor which color. So if something's just like popping out to you right away, I would really appreciate your input. I probably will not get to that piece for quite a while. So if you're not watching this video when it comes out, I probably still have not made the decision. Um, yeah, I plan on making uh, the vest first and then I'll probably start on the blouse because I am gonna wait until I go to that guild meeting to learn about the top down center out technique for making slacks uh, before I start my trousers. So that is going to be my ensemble. Well, I hope you're having great um, things that you can go to that you need to have a little bit more of a polished look. And um, next time I've got some fun content for you. So I will see you then. Have a great day. Bye-bye.